first step closer to a full assault weapons ban in Virginia. The Senate passed the bill that makes it illegal to buy, sell, or trade semi-automatic style firearms. ABC 13's Kelsey Childress shares the impacts this bill and others will have on Virginia gun owners. It's a long-standing controversy in the Commonwealth, the right to bear arms versus the need to stop mass shootings and gun crimes. That conversation is at the center of debate on the Senate floor this session. Lawmakers just passed Senate Bill 2, which bans the sale, purchase, and possession of semi-automatic firearms. This is punishing people who believe they have a Second Amendment right to own firearms. It is our obligation to ensure we don't have weapons of war on our streets. It passed along party lines in a 21-19 vote, but not before a heated debate on the floor. If this bill is passed, how do we get the guns from the criminals that don't care about laws? What this bill will do is reduce the number of firearms that are introduced to our streets, and by doing that, we will keep gun fire these firearms out of the hands of people that intend to do evil with them. Senate Bill 99 also deals with assault style weapons and makes it illegal to open carry a semi-automatic firearm in public. When they see these things in public, they're worried that it's going to be the next mass shooting. And the only reason to carry one of these things around in public is not for self-defense. It's not to protect your home. It's to try to scare people. It's our God-given right to protect ourself, our family, and our children. And it's a constitutional right. Can the senator cite to me where in the Bible it talks about AR-15s, assault rifles, or for that matter, guns? That bill passed on Tuesday in a 21-19 vote. Now there's one final firearm bill the Senate also passed this week. Senate Bill 57 will make it illegal to bring a gun into any restaurant that sells alcohol, even with a concealed carry permit. These bills now head to the Democrat-controlled House, where they are expected to pass. Back to you. Now those aren't the only bills our state lawmakers are considering that could change gun laws in Virginia. The House of Delegates recently passed similar legislation, House Bill 2, which makes the purchase, possession, sale, or transfer of semi-automatic weapons a Class 1 misdemeanor. The bill is now headed to the Senate before making its way to the governor's desk to be signed into law or vetoed. And we did reach out to the governor's office to see what the Republican would do if the bills reach his desk. A spokesperson sent us the following statement saying in part, Virginia Virginia's gun laws are already among the toughest in the nation. He's asking the General Assembly members to hold accountable those criminals that commit crimes with guns by lengthening and making more severe the penalties.